Welcome back to Private Pilot Ground School. This video is all about airspace. What is airspace and why do you have to know it? This is the United States and this is the United States airspace. Airspace is air that an aircraft can fly through and the country below that airspace controls it. The reason why airspace is extremely important and why you must absolutely know it is because anytime you fly you will be flying through airspace and there are different classes of airspace in the United States that each have their own little requirements and regulations that you have to follow in order to operate in them. If this is your first time being introduced to airspace, be warned it is challenging and confusing, but if you stick with it eventually it will start to make sense, and you got this. We'll be using skyvector.com for some of the maps that we will need today. Now when you initially go to the website you'll see that there's a whole bunch of circles and outlines and that's just the weather so click on layers and then deselect everything and click on layers again to get rid of that menu at the top right you can pick which maps you want to view there's VFR, IFR, there's a world VFR if you click on the sectional part it'll bring up a chunk of the airspace in this case St. Louis and at the very top left it has a section where all the symbols are explained and there's also a section on airspace and what the colors are on the map for those airspaces there are six airspace classes in the United States. We have A, B, C, D, E, and G. We don't have a class F. And each of these airspaces have different requirements for you to operate in them. We'll talk about all those requirements in an upcoming video, but for now this will be airspace dimensions and where to find them and what they look like on the map. As we go down the list, airspaces get less and less restrictive. So class A is restricted the most and class G you can basically fly in without any sort of restrictions. And this is where we'll start. We'll start at the bottom with Class G airspace and work our way up. To start off, we need to find a good area on the chart to talk about airspace. And on Sky Vector on the top left, you can type in the airport code and then click go and it will center that little crosshair on that airport. And so we'll type in 3 Foxtrot Uniform and then click go and it'll center your cursor on that airport. If you zoom in on those crosshairs, you'll find Falkton Airport, and this is where we're going to start with Class G airspace. If you don't see anything on the chart, if it's just plain colored or multiple elevation colors, that means that you have Class G airspace that starts at the surface and goes up all the way to 1200 feet AGL. Remember how we talked about that MSL and AGL thing a couple of videos back and it was super boring? Well, this is where it comes into play. Class G airspace goes up to 1200 feet AGL, that's above ground level. If you're flying around, you look out the window and you say, hey, we're about 1200 feet above ground level, that's 1200 feet AGL. Your altimeter, on the other hand, will read elevation, and it will read height above mean sea level, or MSL. If you are flying around Falkton, and the elevation happens to be 1571, like it says on the chart there, your Class G airspace will go up to 2771 and that's what you'll see on your altimeter so 1200 feet AGL in that area happens to be 2771 mean sea level and this is why you kinda have to know the difference between MSL and AGL if you were at 1200 feet on the altimeter you'd be 300 feet underground and you would not be in any airspace whatsoever so that was G from the surface up to 1200 feet AGL now we'll go ahead and zoom out just a little bit and we'll go to the west or to the left on the chart to Gettysburg Airport and it's inside what looks like a little keyhole shape. Now inside the magenta, the faded magenta part, Class G airspace goes from the surface up to 700 feet AGL. So instead of 1200 feet outside of that magenta keyhole, inside of it, it goes from the surface up to 700 feet AGL. So it doesn't go up as high as it does around that keyhole. Alright, so far so good. Now let's go ahead and move a little bit to the southeast. We'll go down to Huron. Now this little thing looks a little weird if you ask me, but that's just how some of them are. Now you'll notice that in addition to the magenta outline, you also have a dashed magenta circle right around the airport. And that's very significant. So let's do a quick little review. Outside of the faded magenta line, Class G airspace goes from the surface up to 1200 feet. Inside of the magenta, the faded magenta that is, it goes from the surface up to 700 feet AGL. Now inside the dotted circle, Class G does not exist whatsoever. 
Class E airspace, that's the one above Class G, goes all the way down to the surface. And this might be a good time to point out that Class G airspace that we've been talking about is uncontrolled airspace, which means that air traffic control technically can't give you any instruction while you are in that airspace. Outside that dashed circle, Class G goes surface to 700 AGL. Outside of the magenta faded line, surface to 1200 feet AGL. Class Echo starts above all of those altitudes. Last thing to talk about is what I like to call Special G. It's G that doesn't fit into anything else really. This adventure will take us to Charlie Delta Charlie on the sectional. Now you'll notice a couple weird things to begin with, but we'll start with the faded blue. This is one of the Special Gs that we have to talk about. On the hard side of the blue line, Class Golf airspace goes from the surface up to 14,500 feet MSL. So pay attention to the MSL versus AGL numbers. So 14,500 feet MSL inside of that hard blue line. On the softer side of the blue line, Class G airspace goes from the surface up to 1,200 feet AGL. Around the Cedar County Regional Airport, we have a dashed magenta line, which means that Class Echo goes to the surface. There is no Class G. And then inside that pentagon shape around the airport, Class G goes from the surface up to 700 feet AGL. And then outside of that, Class G goes from the surface up to 1200 feet AGL. It's always best to visualize this stuff when you're trying to understand what's going on. So here's a little visual representation that's not really that good, but it's the best I could do. So here you go. If you're flying from this airport to this airport, so here's what's going on. On the very right hand side, you have that Class G that goes up to 700 feet. That's that little keyhole looking thing. Then we have the Pentagon that also goes up to 700 feet. And then the no Class G airspace, that's Class E going all the way to the surface. Then we have the big G airspace up to 14,500 feet MSL. And then on the left hand side is G up to 700 feet again. The rest of it is Class G going from the surface up to 1200 feet AGL. This is a little bit confusing but going right to left you would be outside of Class G airspace if you were at, at 1000 feet. Then you'd be in it again because you'd be in the green. Then you'd be above it and then there would be no Class G airspace. And then you would be in it again once you got to the hard blue. And then you would be in it again because you're in the green. And then you wouldn't be in Class G once you got over the airport. That might be a little bit confusing based on the way this thing is drawn out, but if you can picture something like this in your head, it will help out a lot. We're almost done with Class G airspace. What I'd like you to do is click pause on the video, go over to Sky Vector, and then zoom into a couple random parts of the country and try to find Class G airspace and see if you could figure out how high Class G airspace goes in each of the little regions that you find. This is very important because everything else will build on it, and if you don't know where Class G airspace is, you'll be lost for the rest of the video. So do that, come back, we'll continue on. The last thing I want to mention is the zipper. The zipper also represents Class G airspace and how high it goes. Now if we look over here it says it goes up to 9,700 feet MSL. So up to 9,700 feet MSL you are in Class G airspace. Now if we go down here to the bottom you'll see how it changes a little bit. There's a section where Class G airspace goes from the surface to 7,700 feet MSL and then 9,700 feet on the top side of that. So all that to say there's a couple of special G airspaces and I think we've just covered them all. This video is getting a little bit lengthy so come back for the next couple of videos to cover the rest of the airspace.